let Roger do his own thing, uh, get a fast home of Dom, like, power level him up, essentially, so that he they've can got, power hitters. They've got really snowball heroes here, but Solo is going to come in from behind here. No one activates his Flame Guard. Also going to pop the Flame Guard as well. He does have a slide of fist to be able to finish off, maybe, if he could just get that nice. last shot in, and it is good enough to secure first blood. Yeah, this is exactly... Back just going to TP out. Yeah, there's... Decent amount of CS there that he was missing out on, so he wants to get back in the lane as quick as possible. Chalice has been doing relatively well for himself here, as kind of expected, but they're gonna try and go into him now, and he's already built up a lot of Furious White with the double disables. He doesn't get the chance to pop the Ghost Shroud. Uh, this has been talked about at nauseum, by the way, in other casts, but Solo is not your typical five position player. He's not sitting bottom, stacking and pulling waves, sitting there being passive. He's made the two big kills in this game happen on both cores. Oh, they're gonna it. go again! He just TP'd in! He cannot afford another death here, but it's gonna be hard, as they are able to die the challenge is completely here. They're just gonna keep going for challenge. He's already built up so much damage. Every single swing is doing tons and tons. Challenge is gonna go down here. His Ramsey's quite low, but they do manage to get more stuff. Stuns on Exnova, now he's just oh, he's out of mana. In our area. Nobody, and this is the problem. The greed of the LGD lineup, you do not feel comfortable moving heroes out of these lanes. Yes, and VP again, this would completely slow down his game because heroes that don't have natural uh, built-in teamfight abilities, they never like dying this many times in a row. Because they need the net worth advantage to really get their presence felt on the map. Is they're gonna run into the Nyx first? Oh, no, okay, no, they're he's just on the chase. ignoring the Nyx assassin, going straight for the Necrophos. Who's gonna pop the uh, Ghost Shroud? And they might be able to bring Solo a little bit low, but they're just gonna be kited now by the Malefice. And there is going to be a core dead. They're gonna turn back to FY and go for him now. He does have the Spike Carapace to buy him just the smallest bit of space, nice but God. doesn't hit the double impale as no one using his hastering to try and get in front of FY as much as possible. He doesn't have a disable. FY way to him here. Solo is actually trying to from the low ground get some sort of disable out, but he's a bit too far away. No one forced to retreat as the Storm Spirit shows up. He needs to go to the lanes because he already has two cores that want to farm out the jungle. This yeah. is the weakness of PSG LGD's lineup in that it is very greedy. Level 6 for the Brewmaster. PSG LGD are not able to fight here, so it looks like they're going to have to give away three bounty runes unless... No, FY wasn't able to get it. Now for the low ground. This is the play that Solo was looking for earlier. Does manage to get the impale on the Nyx Assassin. The Hex on Chalice. Chase is still not level 6. They're going to pop the Primal Split here. Nice Centaur stun. They get the follow-up. No one from LGD is showing up here anymore. They know this is not a fight they can take. They know this is a tower. They can't... The Ursa. Going for a hand of Midas here. It's a little bit surprising. Maybe that means he, because he's going to be spending so much time running around going for kills, that he wants something that can help him farm as well. One or, second faster than this patch is average. They are going to be able to find top lane, finger of death laid out. Helping to get the kill. A big one at that on maybe Storm, Storm Spirit. And now with maybe Storm Spirit down, as you said it, they're going to push mid. I'd like everybody to come here right now. Yeah, Pasha's gonna make sure to TP in right now. He has Primal Split. Th this completely dissuades LGD from taking a fight, but they may still go for it. If they see the right kind of opening, but that's not the opening they wanted. Great silence push back there. That'll help save FY's life. But a good slide change into the Centaur stun as well. Chalice is trying to keep these heroes alive and trying to front line, but they just run right past them. And as LGD is pushed back, they turn back into Chalice and quickly kill. Thumbs coming with the DD. Out the bottom. Oh, out with the TP in. They catch him as he TP's out. They're going to be able to get one step. Now the change, and he's dead. He just died at top. Comes back in, dies again. A blistering pace being picked up by Virtus Pro as LGD. You must fight us at some point. We're going to go for the high ground. We're going to force all of you back. Um, we'll see what happens from there. Is I think they're just trying to bring him back to the base. Yeah. I'd be somewhat surprised if they actually decided to all in commit this early on. It would take, I think, a pretty big mispositioning blunder from LGD. X Nova, he's found somebody. Oh, what is this positioning from X Nova? Sneaking around the back line, trying to catch somebody as they retreat, but VP is not that too far away. They're gonna make the long jump in from maybe trying to go on the bane. Actually, does sign the finger death, but now that means Solo's gonna be caught up as maybe runs him down too. Double kill out of mana though. A great little pickup by LGD. They were really <laughs> does not feel good for LGD because they're already being hemmed in. They're having to sit behind their tier twos right now. Now an aggressive move. Going straight for Chalice, trying to blow him up. FY trying to intercept with his spike carapace. Does manage to stall off the Ember Spear's damage, but the Ghost Shroud's gonna fade eventually, and Chalice is gonna be found here. 
Diving in, FY, they're gonna go for him next. Should be able to just chain disable him. Two kills for Virtus Pro as they surround this mid tier two tower. One of the last remaining towers for LGD. Pasha's role just makes it so hard for them to fight right now. And he's playing right, these fights so perfectly. Right. Look at Solon, his positioning. Maybe he's going to be able to come in here, taking away the Aegis of the Ursa. Roger wants the LTV. They result back to the high ground. Roger's trying to go back and forth here, but he's just being guided by the Frost Arrows. And now Ame, with that Hurricane Pike, will be able to get away from the Ursa. They're going to wait out the end range, the Nightmare. It'll fade eventually, and they're just going to continue to get those Frost Arrows. Oh, the Challenge Reaper's Scythe! Not going to be good enough to kill Pasha yet, yeah, but the Impale is going to get up the base no. off, and the Ursa dies as well. A huge fight for LGD as VP and all their aggression got them ahead in this. Yeah. Which is insane to think about because a second ago, PSG LGD only had one kill on the map. Nightmare. Fiend's grip up. Nobody's nearby. This is a guaranteed kill on an hour. You have your PSG network. LGD is now ahead and is now definitely winning this. Break those smokes. Yeah, I, I know a lot of fans hate when their teams pick like Nick's first two, but this is part of the reason why you do so is because you can put so much pressure on the enemy team. I am, in professional Dota, breaking smokes is such a big deal, but they might actually close that deal here. Chalice is gonna be in trouble here. Chain disables, finger of death goes out, but he has the Guardian Greens to be able to help him out a lot. The BKB activated by Ramsey, so, and this is nice sure to make sure up. this fight is definitely gonna go the way to BP. As they run down one court, gonna be able to catch up Why They can run back over to the Bane, who was, oh, they're gonna go for the Ember Spirit. He got found out. He gets isolated from his team. You need to get out on VP. They're gonna try and come back in. Now Chalice, did TP in with double buybacks here. Virtus Pro, a mass retreat. Ramsey's. Oh! What a TP away from him. A close call, but does get out. And not the worst situation at all for VP because two buybacks were expended. As FY still on the hunt, he's going to run into solo here. <laughs> Is there a follow-up? There is going to be a jump from the Storm Spirit to ensure the kill. Maybe they go Roche now. Yeah, possibly. FY. Vendetta, oh, so my Carapace is going to be able to buy him some time out of here, and that big mistake from Roger, the double chainsaw on the side. If they get on top of these heroes, maybe it'll be okay, but Red's already taking so much damage to the BKB, trying to finish up this Drow Ranger, but that is going to be the Aegis. Meanwhile, that is a permanent death, unless we fly back, and that's going to be Brewmaster and Enigma trying to TP on the shrines and join this. They get the silence, and just keeps on poking him, but he's been silenced up. He's taking so much physical damage, but LGD, very cool, just holding on to their high ground, knowing VP, they blew these buybacks and they can't actually get into LGD for a second round fight. They love to be able to bludgeon you in team fights, take these little leads that add up so quickly, and then just end the game. So PSG LGD is making sure with their lineups they think that they at some point this, they can but fight. Look at VP, they're playing on the high ground right now. If LGD committed for that kill on Ursa, it would be a terrible fight for them. So they do actually make the read back up. And now gonna try and play around their vision. They're gonna go for the Enigma. They have the change of stables. They have the tiles as well. The Enigma is dead. No buy back there. Fiend's grip in the back line. A beautiful one. Somebody stop him. Controlling up Ramsey's. He finally does get unleashed and managed to get off the enrage, but he's already taken up so much damage. He will fall as the Storm Tear runs him down. He's gonna try and go for no one as well. No one does have the escape, but Pacha may not as he does come back in. But doesn't have a blink, he does have a TP though, and it looks like they were just off the mark. They were dealing with the courier really early on, and it took PSG LGD a second to sort of catch on to how VP was going to take the fights. And now it's the same thing where if VP can make the correct adjustment, maybe they can still pull this rabbit out of the hat. I think they saw Roger for a moment there, and that's why the Storm is going to jump, trying to go, but immediately gets hexed up. Now the two men set as well. The figure of death onto the Storm Spirit, but he does have a Bloodstone as well as a double damage, and they are wary to be able to fight LGD right now. The BKB has been used, and VP, knowing that, are going to go back to fight. See if they can be able to catch some heroes. The Force Staff doesn't actually get him over this high ground. He's going to be stuck here until another Force Staff breaks down. That's all he's for Ramsey to be able to get on top of Ame. A good Fiend's grip, a black hole going down, instantly canceled though. It's the strike camera, so it's not Reaper. Side cutting him down, but not good enough. And now they jump in. They're gonna go for Roger. They do manage to take him out, but at the same time, the draw range is dead. So they have a buyback. Bane said as well. And the sword here. Necrophone's gonna be bashed up. They nearly get the hex down. The sword here. Ignore the Necrophone. Kill the storm. And they do get him. And now, Chalice, let's just run him down eventually here because LGD, they don't have any buybacks whatsoever. Trying to go for the DP away, but he gets it. No way. No bashes 
from the Ursa. A little continue to show himself bottom lane while the rest of his team makes a sneaky little maneuver. They won't expect this because the Aegis is down into the jungle. They're gonna run into me. Zip, who did have the vision? Is able to get the Aegis to win after the jump? The X Fall! A nightmare might just save it until no, the first damage comes in. What an insane interaction! It's this picture perfect there. They got the Abyssal Blade at the same time. Why is this Drow Ranger pushing out so far? She's been scared the entire time. Yeah. Nobody's been showing on the map. There's got to be a reason for this. Pasha, he'll go ahead and show himself. Feeling confident that he's tanking up, but maybe he's not. He wants a Lotus Sword, but he's taking so much damage. The ice goes up. The Reaper side brings him down. Immediately buys back, though. Oh, deep is the blade. Back to that on the short turn. Maybe he's able to make one more jump, though. So instead, he turns to the Nyx. He's actually also have to help him. There is the Black Hole. The Fiend's Grip used to stop that one. The hand is dying challenge a lot of time. Ramsey, while well, they are able to finish off this pain. Ramsey's beast. Yes, right 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 BKB, the Vicious Shark coming into play, securing the fight. Now LGD on the ropes, forced to buy back. FY being spotted by Solo, is able to get the Hex to start things off. The follow-up disables from no one as well. Prepping the finger of death, ready to let it go. Now he can pop it if he wants to, but he wants to keep that extra damage for the next fight. And that next fight could be the end here for LGD in games. The buyback on the Pasha to make this happen. The Storm gonna zip, try to kill the Creeper with the instant glyph. It's looking good for DP, but at the same time, it's so hard to push Hygrad against the Storm Spirit. The two-man silence after the Drow Ranger is a good way to be able to push him back. The Lotus Sword helping things a lot. Rance is very low. The Ever's been in cores are just like that. Now Rance is being controlled. LGD tied around him. Oh, he's going to go for the kill on the Earth. He does manage to get it before he dies. DP, this time it's their time to lose a fight. LGD do successfully hold. Don't lose a second lane of Rax. It costs them so many buybacks. And there's no buyback now on Pasha. Yeah, if they, I think they just have to play for the win. So Nyx is about to be up in. Roshan dropping low. But the Ember Spirit does have a spirit in. He's going to jump in now. Pop his BKB. Immediately LGD retreat. Thinking VP is not going to be able to commit to take that Roshan. And it looks like they're right too. Challenge just gets some vision inside of the pit to make sure Roshan's still okay. And now FY's going to be in. They do manage to get the defensive play. One force that being used. And it's a bloody hole. And on top of the other side of the pit. But the Roshan goes down. Aegis is able to pick up on the sword here. There's no hole. John Ray's in the black hole. Look at it go. Controlling about the beast grip on the outside of the pit. No, they just keeps on nailing them. Two dead, 150 seconds of the lion, and LGD one more. They've got five up. If they could just catch more. Guys, Ramsey's Ramsey's no. He completes the TP. If he had died there, in my head, there's no doubt LGD has just won the game. But maybe VP in a four versus five, maybe they can still hold somehow. They don't have the black hole now, and things get real complicated when you don't have black hole against PSG LGD's lineup. And that's why they're just going for the high ground. BKB still on cooldown too. They've got to be careful for this. VP, they committed so much to slowing down that Aegis. They have the primal split, yes, but they don't have the black hole. VP, they're just poking right now. But how many buildings are they willing to give up at this point? How long? Can they wait for this line to come back? And the Hex now completed from the Storm. This is such a useful tool for them to jump in, blow up one of these cores. They know that buybacks are low. Oh, the Invincible Edge of is in here right now with the Force Staff again, being able to save Ave. Now they jump in. They are going to be able to get the Reaper side, trying to focus on Ramsey. He does manage to get the cheese off. He's going to be okay. But the lockdown of the Ember Spirit, he's not. He's set for two minutes in LGD. Now they see the game in hand. All they have to do is keep this five man. Let it go for the throne. Five. They're just going to go straight for the throne. And somehow, Virtus Pro, they have to be able to pull a win out of this. Otherwise, they're knocked out of the tournament. But one tier four already down. LGD chopping down building after building. A black hole is up for Roger, though. PSG LGD, they're aware of that. They're going to keep their positioning. They keep a nice spread. Another tier four down. Throne is dying fast. They make their jump on the right hand side. But the throne is so fast. He's going to go for the black hole again, too. But the real master, he's going to be dying for Ave. Just focusing on these heroes. This Ramsey's is going to be caught in this. The Frost Heroes keeping him kind of around. And that is it. No one calling the GG. Curtis Pro are eliminated by LGD. What a game. Team fight after team fight, world determinant. It was that hold in that bottom lane that did it for them. And their decision to all in the storm getting the ages was so critical for that. Incredible. Vertis Pro looked like they were going to be able to clinch this towards the end, but a great hole for.